For the ones who get it done, the most important part is the one you need now. And the best partner is the one who can deliver. That's why millions of maintenance and repair pros trust Granger, Because we have professional-grade supplies for every industry, even hard-to-find products. And we have same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders. But most importantly, we have an unwavering commitment to help keep you up and running. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hey all, welcome back to the Real Life Pharmacology Podcast. I am your host, pharmacist Eric Christensen. Thank you so much for being with me today. Uh, I'm going to tr- talk about trihexaphenidil uh, today, but first want to remind you uh, about our free Top 200 Study Guide. It's a 31-page PDF, great resource uh, for anyone in nursing school, pharmacy school, uh, med school, anybody studying pharmacology. Uh, I put in there things that you actually see in practice as well as a lot of things that show up on board exams. So definitely go check that out. It's 31 pages absolutely for free. Uh, It's simply an email. We'll get you access to that. And, of course, we'll get you updates when we've got new podcasts and content out as well. So, again, reallifepharmacology.com. Subscribe to get that top 200 study guide. All right. So, drug of the day is trihexyphenidyl. Brand name of this medication is Artane. Uh, It has been quite a while since I have seen this medication utilized, but I do see it on occasion. Uh, this is technically classified as an anticholinergic medication, uh, also can be classified as an anti-Parkinson's agent. Um, I will say the use for it being a Parkinson's type agent is, uh, very limited. Uh, that's due to usually elderly people, uh, have Parkinson's more so than younger people and having anticholinergic effects in elderly people. Uh, that gets a little bit challenging, of course, there. We've got a lot of other drugs that generally treat Parkinson's a little bit better with lower risk for significant adverse effects. So primary use that I have seen uh, is extrapyramidal symptoms management. Uh, usually that's medication-induced extrapyramidal symptoms or adverse effects. So classically, that's going to be use of antipsychotics in treatment of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and the clinician feels that the benefit of the antipsychotic on their uh, mood and behaviors and things like that is much more beneficial than the risk of taking it away and avoiding extrapyramidal symptoms. So with that, we can utilize medications And again, like I said, sometimes I've seen trihexyphenidyl used in that setting to manage those extrapyramidal symptoms uh, when it is necessary to continue a specific antipsychotic. Okay, so what's tough about trihexyphenidyl or adverse effects? What do we need to worry about? Well, first off, I do want to mention it is on uh, Beer's criteria as potentially inappropriate. Uh, This drug is highly anticholinergic, like I mentioned, and the adverse effect profile, what that's going to look like is you can't pee, poop, spit, or see. So urinary retention, constipation, dry mouth, dry eyes, uh, potential exacerbations of glaucoma. Uh, Anticholinergics tend to uh, slow down the gut as well. If you remember, uh, mechanistically, this drug blocks the parasympathetic nervous system. And if you remember way back from uh, initial biology classes, you've got the parasympathetic and the sympathetic. The parasympathetic is your rest and digest. So if we're blocking that, if we're blocking digestion, you think of it that way, uh, we're essentially slowing or stopping uh, the gut. Same thing with uh, blocking the parasympathetic. That's kind of that relaxation. 
um, we can have an adverse effect like tachycardia, increased heart rate. Now, generally, I would say it's probably not clinically significant um, until you add in other drugs that increase the heart rate and as you maybe escalate the dose of trihexaphenidyl. So again, something to watch for, I would say tachycardia isn't something I I see real commonly, um, but it it can happen and and it certainly has been uh, reported there. So again, remember that urinary retention, constipation, Dry mouth and dry eyes. Those are, are that's what you're going to see uh, most commonly reported as nuisance symptoms by patients. Uh, as patients age, we can also get into uh, worsening confusion, fall risk, and certainly uh, this medication does have some CNS depressant type activity as well. So sedation, for example, uh, rarely uh, it can cause hyperthermia. Uh, several months back, I, I did a blog post on meded101.com on hyperthermia and drugs that can cause that. And anticholinergics like trihexaphenidyl uh, can increase that risk. Now, you'll want to think about the patient situation and that type of thing. You know, if patients are on this medication and they're going, uh, you know, hiking in extreme temperatures, that type of thing, uh, they may be at more risk for hyperthermia if they're taking trihexaphenidyl. Uh, in combination uh, to some of those maybe activities that might put them more at risk for elevated body temperature. All right, so let's take a quick break from our sponsor and I'll wrap up with drug interactions. If you're in the market for pharmacist board certification study material like BCPS, BCACP, BCGP, BCMTMS, or NAPLEX, go check out meded101.com slash store, S-T-O-R-E got a great list of resources to help you prepare and pass your exam. In addition, if you're a med student, NP, PA student, med uh, nursing student, uh, go check out meded101.com slash store. We've got a growing list of books, uh, study resources, case scenarios, clinical pearls, drug interactions, all sorts of great learning tools uh, to help you understand clinical management in the real world when it comes to medications. So again, go check out all those resources, meded101.com slash store, S-T-O-R-E. All right, so wrapping up with drug interactions. So I don't really think of many overt um, metabolic pathway interactions or anything like that. Uh, With a drug like trihexaphenidyl, an anticholinergic medication, uh, I think of additive and opposing effects. So in geriatric patients, one of the first things I think of is cognition. If you've got a patient with dementia and maybe they're taking an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor like denepazil, trihexaphenidyl can directly oppose any benefit that you're going to see from that medication. Uh, More examples here. Uh, we got to think about anticholinergic burden and additive effects. So uh, your older antihistamines like diphenhydramine, hydroxazine, tricyclic antidepressants are highly anticholinergic. We've also got respiratory anticholinergics that are frequently used in COPD. So that's like your you know, teotropium, ipotropium, meds like that. These can all have additive effects onto trihexaphenidyl's adverse effect profile. So using trihexaphenidyl in combination with diphenhydramine or or brand name Benadryl uh, can increase the risk for urinary retention, can increase the risk for constipation, dry mouth. All those adverse effects that you see with trihexaphenidyl, those can be raised when we add on another medication that's going to do the same thing. Uh, Another one I I wanted to mention was constipation. Uh, It's a frequent issue there. Uh, particularly in geriatric patients or as patients get older. Uh, so certainly we got to think about things like opioids, for example. Uh, urinary retention, we've got meds that can exacerbate that. So think about some of those medications there. And of course, I always think about CNS depressant activity as well. So plenty of meds that can do that, benzodiazepines, uh, a lot of sleepers, uh, that can have additive effects onto trihexaphenidyl and increase the risk of falls and sedation, of course. All right, well, that's going to wrap up the podcast for today. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you've picked up a few practice pearls. 
Uh, do me a fa- huge favor, leave a rating, review on iTunes or wherever you're listening. I greatly appreciate that. It helps grow the podcast. Of course, always share us with friends, colleagues, other healthcare professionals. Uh, help them learn more about pharmacology and medications, or at least give themselves a little refresher. Go sign up, reallifepharmacology.com. Snag that top 200 study guide. Uh, that's a no-brainer for anybody looking for a refresher or if you're going through any type of pharmacology classes. I'm going to sign off for today. Uh, if you want to track me down, mededucation101 at gmail.com. I thank you for listening, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. At Granger, we're for the ones who specialize in saving the day and for the ones who've mastered the art of keeping business moving. We offer industrial-grade supplies for every industry with same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders, all backed by real people ready to help. So you can get the right answers and products right when you need them. Call, click Grainger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.